And therefore, I urge you, at this moment of national emergency, to stay at home, protect our NHS, and save lives. at home by yourself uh, all you need is a ball and a little bit of space okay so there's no excuses all right first of all let's get warmed up ball in hand okay you keep swapping um, the ball from side to side okay practice on the grip like we're doing video one um, right so we're going to start with some high knees right so it's nice and steady just bring those knees up to the hips get them as high as you can all right like I said, keep swapping the ball from side to side, bring it down to your side if you want, and practice that grip from, from week one. Right, now I'm going to use heel kicks, just bringing those heels into the bum, and same again, just keep bringing that ball around, moving it around, keep practicing your grip. Alright, this one you might have to keep swapping hands, because we're going to his bounding, so we're looking for high, okay? Swap hands, bringing that knee up, springing up off the working leg, trying to get as high as we can. Okay, a couple more. Now we're going to go into our bodyweight squats. Tend to do, okay? So feet shoulders apart, hips back, get down as low as you can, get those hips as low as you can. That's three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Alright? So we do exactly the same thing one more time around, but well, this time we're just going to put in max effort, alright? See how fast we can do it. Okay, so starting with high knees, remember ball control, one hand. Alright? So let's go as high as we can. Fast as we can. Get up. 
keep swapping the ball as well. Work on that ball security. Work on the grip. Okay, now we're going to do heel kicks. So bring those heels into his bum. But again, as fast as we can. Really warm up those hamstrings. Three, two, one. So now we're going back to the boundary. Well, this time, really focus on getting as high as you can. So you're trying to get your head right up to the ceiling. Three, two, one, two, up, high as you can. Keep swapping the ball from side to side. And then, once we've done this, we're back into our bodyweight squats. Alright? Nice and deep. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good. So, today's session, it's all going to be about to play the ball, right? So when you're attacking, it's all about playing the ball quick, getting up, finding your front, getting out of there, playing the ball. That means the next person on your team can take a carry and then defense over back and set. Again, making you more meters, getting you further down the field. Okay, when you're defending, your objective is to slow the tackle down, get them on the back, make it as slow as you can, as long as the ref will allow it, so that your team can get back on side and get up and win the next tackle, all right? So today's all gonna to be about play the ball speed and how you can use little things, little techniques to get you out, out of the wrestle so you can able to play the ball quicker, all right? Well, first of all, I uh, need to take my timer, which you can practice, what we did in video one, which is nice, playing the ball, okay, one side with the right and with the left. Your most dominant side first. So up, round, and play. Okay, nice and controlled. Just keep practicing. So down, just bringing the knees in, round, smooth as you can. Down, snap, round. That snap is to get you in a strong, get you a strong base, nice and quick, so the ref can see that you're fighting to get up. Snap, round, okay, a couple more. Snap, round, last one, snap, round. Right, so now we're exactly the same thing, but on your least dominant side. Okay, so remember if you get caught in contact, you don't want to be swapping hands to play the ball, because you want to be as quick as we can. So let's go, your weaker side. Down, snap, round, play the ball. Down, snap, play the ball. So remember the quicker you can bring those knees in to your chest, the quicker the play the ball will be, because the ref will tell them to move. Because you're fighting to get up, Just lay there, and the ref will let them lay on. Just need to really fight to play the ball. Last couple, and last one, and time. Okay? So, this time, what we're going to do is look at some escapes, right? So, this time, we're going to come down, we're going to snap up, and then we're going to imagine that someone's still on his back. So we're going to swing the elbow, round, twist the hips, find the front, play the ball. So that's like you're shrugging the player off, yeah, finding some space to enable you to play the ball. Alright, so we're going to go in three, two, one. So snap, turn, up, play the ball. Yeah, down, same side. So the ball that hasn't got the hand, that's what we're going to use. Play the ball. Down, snap, twist, play the ball. So you should be nice and powerful, powerful movement. So you're down, 
bring the knees in, and then boom, short twist, scissor out, play the ball, last one, down, snap it, knees in, twist, play the ball, okay, have a breather, what we're going to do now is practice the exact same thing, but on the other side, okay, so your least dominant side, for me, that's my left, I've got my ball in my left, left hand, this is going to feel very awkward for me, so I'm going to go down, snap, twist, up, play the ball. Like I said, the reason we do this, practice both sides, is so if you get caught with the ball in that hand, it's still a nice quick play of the ball. Snap, twist, out. So we down, snap, twist, play the ball. So all you're doing is you're shugging, shugging the players on top of you. Oh, there, finding the space so you can play the ball and hopefully you'll be laid on the floor somewhere and your knife can jump out and make some meters. So the next one, okay, this is the zone. You've got your nose through, okay, you've found your front and it's just a play on your lower body, all right? Okay, and you need to get up, show that referee that you're wanting to play the ball quick and then he's going to penalise anybody if um, they jump on or if they hold on for too long. Right, so we're going to go down, and then you pull it back, right, out, play the ball. Here's your alternate side, okay, so that was the least on the side, pull back, play the ball. Back to the right hand, so we're down, pull back. This could also be if there's somebody loose on top, and, that's, and there's nobody on the lower, and you're just trying to pull back and get your head out. Okay, so we're down, pull it out. Round, play the ball. We're trying to make it game with it, trying to think about what you're doing. Push it out, round, play the ball. Down, pull out, play the ball. Okay, so, I don't use this one much, because I don't really get popped my back, but for instance if I did, and I was on the back, and this player's on top, you know, this is where you don't want to be, right? So, from here, you need to use your arms. So if your arm is down by side, you need to make some space, or with the elbows. But what the main thing is what we do with his hips. Okay, so you want to be thrusting those hips, for, like get a bit of momentum from there with their body weight, and that's going to enable you a bit of time, a bit of air space to get a good twist in. So what I'm going to do is bridge up and then roll, okay? Obviously if you had someone on top of you, it wouldn't be that smooth, but again, it's showing the referee that you're fighting to get up, um, so if they hold on too long, you know, you're more chance to get a penalty, you'll see it loads when you're watching rugby on the television of players just wriggling and fighting on the floor, um, not being able to get up, the referee will straight blow, blow the whistle, if you lay there, you know, like a dead possum, and allow, and also allow it, the referee will let them lay on, right, so you need to show that fight. So, um, bridge, the hips up, bridge the hips up, twist, play the ball, okay? And again, we'll just the alternate sides. So, dominant side to start. Bridge up, up, play the ball. So, to his left side now, well, for me, to my left side, at least on the side, it's most awkward. So, bridge up, round, play the ball. Bridge up, twist, play the ball. So you're looking for that power, the snap of the hips. So you're using your bump, driving through the heels. Bridge up, twist, and play the ball. All these little things, like I say, speed up the play the ball and let the ref know that you're wanting to play it. Um, and if you lay on too long, that's when you're going to get the penalties. Okay, last one, right, a little bit of con. Right, and then we're going to go through all these exercises as fast as we can for a full circuit. Last one is just going to be burpees. Rugby, you're always getting down, whether it's making tackles or carrying the ball, you're always getting up and down, off the floor, so a great exercise that you can do at home that will you know, help keep you match fit. 
is just getting up and down off the floor. Okay, so we don't need the ball for this one. So all we're going to do is down onto his chest, snap onto his feet and jump up. All right. Really important when you're doing burpees or up and downs that you land on your full foot. Okay, you get a nice wide base. If you come up the front, land on your toes, you're going to put too much pressure on your lower back, ankles, knees. All right. So you need to get your feet wide and land on the full, full foot, flat foot. Uh, so you might need to really snap out of that bottom. So here we go. So down, snap, up, down, snap, up, down, snap, up. Here, okay. find your rhythm. Don't blow yourself up too soon. Start a little practice. Get used to it. Get that technique right. So, wide base, jump up, snap, wide base, jump up. Last one, snap, wide base, jump up. As you can see, I do get out of breath. It hits quite hard getting up and down off the floor. Alright, so we're going to go through that same circuit one more time, but it's going to be timed, four seconds on. 20 seconds off and we're going to be working as hard as we can. Right, so back to, back to the first exercise. We do play the balls, but like I said, we do it as quick as we can. I'm going to count mine, you count yours, see if you can beat me. Okay, we're going in 10 seconds. So you can start with your dominant side first. For me, this is my right side. 40 seconds non stop. Pace yourself. 3, 2, 1, go. Making sure you keep that good technique. It's 2. Three, four, five, six, seven. We pass that way. Keep going. Eight, nine. 10. That's time. Okay. I got 10. Hopefully, you've got more. Alright. Make sure you post something in the comments below. See where you measure up. Exactly the same thing, but this time we're going to go on his left side. Alright. So, no reps. 3, 2, 1, go. So, down, snap. Play the ball. That's 1. Down, snap. 2. So look at ball security, make sure you've got a good technique, it's three, it's four, snap, play the ball, it's five, six, seven, last five seconds, eight, Nine. Okay, we're on left on my right side. Now the idea is to make it short equal. Okay, so equal is good. So we're going in 10 seconds now. Now we're going um, ball in dominant hand. We're going for the scissor escape. Right? Three, two, one, snap, twist, play the ball. It's one. Snap, twist, play the ball. It's two. As many as you can. Three. Snap. Twist. Four. It's five. Last ten seconds. Six. Seven. Okay, so hopefully you beat me. If you didn't, try beat me on this one. Alright, we'll do a bit slower on this one. So, ball in your least on the side. For me, it's my left. We're going in three, two, one, go. Snap, twist, play the ball. It's one, snap, 
twist with the ball. Two. Little knock on there for me. Got that ball. Three. Halfway. Four. Snap. Twist. It's five. Last ten seconds. Snap. Twist. Six. Time. Get it again. Slower on my least on the side. Shows mine to work a little bit harder. And get it leveled up. Okay, so next up, a little bit easier now, this is just to pull back. So looking to find the space by pulling back out of your under the body or to get on top of the legs. Let's go. So snap. Keep changing the play of the ball. It's two. Should get a lot more on this one. Pull out. It's three. Keep changing left to right. Four. It's five. That's six. Last ten seconds. Seven. One more. Eight. Well done. Right. So now we're going to go on worst case scenario. You put onto your back. Right, um, you need to find that space, bridge, nice and powerful, twist, let's go, up, twist, that's one, keep changing sides, up, twist, it's two, find the space, twist, it's three, find the space, twist, it's four, Find space, twist, five. Find space, twist, six. Find space. So it's all about the speed. Find the space and move. Eight, and time. Right, so finish with the hard one now. It's going to be burnt peaks, we don't need the ball. Roll it out of the way. We've got 10 seconds. So remember that good technique. Right, three, two, one, go. Four seconds. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, last ten seconds, ten, eleven, twelve, time, thirty. Right, hopefully you beat me. If you did, better luck next time. Right, I'm blowing a bit. But hopefully you are too. Go get a drink. Um, make sure if you like this video to subscribe to the channel. If you know anybody who would find, um, you know, any benefit from doing this, make sure you share it so they can benefit from it. All right. So well done. Keep practicing, and see you soon. And therefore, I urge you, at this moment of national emergency, to stay at home, protect our NHS, and save lives.